potential, isn't there? Oh, he's going in one direction. Gary Adams has got a lot of pride in to defend. And oh, oh, it's 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 not to play the World Cup. We'll just see what happens. Interesting to see, what, interesting to see what 2023 has in store for Gary Anderson. 93. Damien Rakai, 103. Great response. Single 11. The double 16. And that is a 12 data from Damien Hetter. He's in trouble here, Alan Suter. Yeah, well, he's got a, a first nine average of 85. Damon's is close to 111. So every visit in the opening three legs, he's given away 25 points. So 75 behind after nine darts though. Invites pressure as well, because he glanced and he's been clean on these sort of finishes. This is as good as the match for me. Suter hangs on in there, but this 66 has to go. Lots of different options for this. And treble 10 for double 18. Needed that. He went poorly thrown darts to be fair, but needed it to go. And this for 4-1. But crucially, a double breaker throw. And a long way back now for Alan Suter. Certainly been in his practice room. Yeah, I think Key brought his family with him, hasn't he? So that can just give you that, that comfort. And it certainly helped his progress. Seeing a lot of players who have come over and it can be a lonely game, darts and and things aren't going well, but generally, things have gone pretty well for Damon Hetter, haven't they? It just seems they've got the formula right. Enjoying being a top-level pro, and he's producing top-level darts. And double 16 for 5-1. Sumptuous Game stuff. The Damon well, it's sandwiched in the middle, isn't it? Well, even more possible now. It's just been clinical from Hetter, and can he finish the job? He can't quite yet, but Alan, you and Suter pulls this 150 out of the bag. You feel his race is run, and it's been a convincing display. I think that little nod <laughs> is one of acceptance, isn't it? 50. Sometimes you just have to hold your hands up and they say the bloke was too good today. I think Alan Suter is about to do that. Because the Aussie number one's looking at double 16 for a 6 2 win. Yeah, and that's shot. what it is. And Damon Hetta, the heat Hetta. overcomes Alan Suter. Just left it too late. And allowed Larson to book his place here. Yeah. Oh, I feel like he's improved as well. The more we've seen of him on the European tour. His throw is very lungy, though, isn't it? It looks like. 100. It's prone to a few loose darts, but yeah, I agree with you, Chris. I think we've seen the best version of Daniel Larson this year. Here was Humphreys again. 170. Daniel required 124. Trouble 18. 56. Luke required we do. 31. And he certainly does at the though. moment. Luke and why wouldn't he when he's playing this well? Humphreys just came out. Charging out. In that form that saw him pick up all of those four titles on the Euro Tour earlier this year. The first couple of legs were absolutely emphatic. But it's become a bit of a battle of a match since then. Larson playing Daniel a decent level, but Luke has dropped below his own par standard. Another go at this. It's unlucky, mate. Oh, brilliant setter. Unless Humphreys can take out the 170, Larson should level up this tie, and Humphreys isn't going to take it out. This is good from Daniel Larson. He's blown away in the first couple of legs, 24 darts, and he was two legs down. But this for 3-3, three, three, and nobody thought this would be the case. And Humphreys led 2-0 and 3-1, but credit to Daniel. Been the big, big difference for me in the scoring stakes. One big treble of visitors seemed to be the pattern for Daniel Larson. Yeah, he needed the other treble there, didn't he? 58. Just lets his head drop again. Yeah, he's kind of done that a bit more in this game, and I said that was something he sort of cleared up, but very evident on a few occasions. 
65. Luke McCoy, 111. All the ones. Well, there's one of them. And the ball. Aye, aye, aye. Luke Humphreys. Luke Humphreys. Well, he rescued that shot, didn't he? His average standard over an entire year. He's that's a mean visit. It certainly is. One hundred. A decent cushion for Luke Humphrey. He's notched in the match, but in this leg. Here he goes again. Oh, wow. How easy did that look? It's almost like that bullseye finish there has just reignited Humphreys in this game and he's found the level to end the match of which he started it with. He's allowed him to relax, hasn't it? And while it's not at his best, Luke Humphreys, his average is close to 101. Nine. That'll obviously come down now. He'll be back. Larson just looking to put a dent in his 201, but the likelihood is these are his last three darts here at the German Darts Open. 25. Luke required 32. Managed to beat Jamie Hughes. Did Daniel Larson yesterday. But Luke Humphreys was Humphrey. just too good for him, even if he himself didn't seem to think he was that good in that game. 140. Somebody like him, you know, a player we've already seen tonight, Damon Hatter, he's got a, a higher average than that over the course of the year. And over a sustained period, you're thinking, well, he's playing a, a higher standard of darts. It's not 100. necessarily translating into titles. But it is top-level stuff, isn't it? To be averaging mid-90s to high-90s over a lot of games is incredible. And, of course, Joe Cullen absolutely walloped Damon Hetter in the match play. Mm. As Joe Mernon looks at the 11 segment and now the ball to go into the lead. And that is back to back 15 darters. Check out to 96 and then 121. Let's look at this. Ooh. He hasn't done much this year, has he, Joe Murray? If he, if he were to get this result, it would be a real statement win. Yes, he did beat Joe Cullen earlier in a floor event, but beating him on a Euro Tour a week after he won a Euro Tour. The best run he's had this year was a quarter-final run in the third Players' Championship event of the year. 58. Yeah, a long while ago. Yeah. He lost to the man you mentioned, Damon Hetter. Oh, this oh. is lovely. Double 18. Oh, 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 oh yes. Absolutely majestic. I mean, it's not often that I would, I would think to liken Joe Mernon to a swan. But there is an element of it. Gliding across the water, maybe paddling away underneath. Ducks do the same. Swans will break your arm, though. <laughs> 100. Oh, looking good for a, a level game once again. Fifty-nine. Joey Certainly now. Double 18, the choice, and that's why. Oh, excellent finishing continues. Well, the beauty about sport, but particularly in darts, is that you can 59. see two guys playing world-class stuff and look like they're never going to stop, but then that pub leg might be around the corner at any point. They might not get to the last leg decided. Oh, oh no. That is a savage... Savage deflection off the flight. He would have been on a two darter if that had found the treble 20, and it's got to have been close. Treble 13. Well, all is not lost. He can still win in sensational style. But Cullen will come back. And the way the pair of them have been finishing, you would expect him to clean this up and force the sudden death shootout. <laughs> well, it's been absolutely sublime for the pair of them. He's just been very unlucky. Ninety-nine. Does he use the pretty hard, plasticky flight? It looks a thicker flight than than normal, or than some, I should say. And Joe Cullen is first yeah. to a finish, and it could cost him because he will be 
And one, two, three now. But we could see that scrappy end to the match, or we could see something sublime to win it. Is it sublime? Is it sublime? It is absolutely masterful. Oh, my word. The two Joes serve up an incredible contest. The number of times that we saw Peter Wright beaten in major final after major final, Euro Tour final after Euro Tour final, ranking final after ranking final, by the same man, and he would continue to pick himself up and go again and keep putting himself in those positions. And there were times, even that UK Open win, people were putting an asterisk next to it, or Van Gerwen wasn't there. So that doesn't really count. I think he's, he's banished all of that since then. Well, the first World Championship when he dominated against Michael Van Gerwen. Really banished that. 137. But Peter Wright is doing a real job on Raymond van Barneveld here. Van Barneveld being restricted to feeding on scraps. It's looking like a three-leg lead, and Barneveld will race through his game yesterday. Six legs without reply. It could be the opening three without reply against him here. Well, it's a 14 data. And then he had two darts there. He, he could be on the brink of a place in the last 16 but instead he's involved in a real scrap here Barney threatening the best leg of the match so far even a maximum from Peter Wright can't stop Barney having a crack at this 96 well he does just tap him on the shoulder there's only a light tap yeah beautiful it's in double eight for three apiece yeah comfortable leg this would be how close is that? PT require 121. Triple 17 and bull. Oh, this would hurt Raymond This would get the head shaking. Oh. How close was that? Raymond requires 16. Close to busting. Was... Yeah, uh -oh. it was right in the middle. And that is three legs apiece. Dark players are stubborn, aren't they? I mean, Daryl Gurney this afternoon. He wouldn't leave double 16 alone, would he? And in the end, it was the match winning double. But yeah, it's. The way of a dark player, isn't it? You've got to have that stubbornness to be successful. Sixty-two. Like that shot from Raymond. PT require one hundred and sixty-seven. But Peter Wright can pull a bit of magic out the hat here. And they put him one away from the next round, but he's not going to. One hundred and thirty-one. Raymond require fifty-nine. All this hard work and done really after getting three legs in succession to level up the tie. Has he just gifted a break of throw to Peter Wright? He has. I say a gift. It was a 13 dart leg. It's a real leg of quality. He's a man who believes in his ability. He believes in whatever equipment he uses or whatever style he uses. Peter Wright thinks he can be the best. And performances like this that illustrate why. Hasn't looked spectacular, but the stats say differently doesn't need to go double double why don't you go 16 or just be stubborn and hit it because you're an absolute surgeon of a man double eight 80. Oh, one must start much start missed and Raymond van Barneveld could be throwing his last three darts at the German darts open and he's throwing him like a beaten man isn't he 100 does find a treble but Peter Wright to cap off a fine display Peter Wright back on the Euro Tour. And back winning games on the Euro Tour. A 6 3 victory in the big name clash of the evening. And then to finish the evening, Rob Cross and Martin Lukeman. So 
Still some fantastic Nine matches to come this six. evening. Yeah, so far it's been success for the seeds tonight, though Joe Cullen was taken right down to the wire by Joe Mernon Nine in his victory, six. the winner, Louis of course, of last weekend's seven. Euro Tour event, Cullen. Williams may win this leg. Needed another treble 20 to get a dart at the ball, but it is a three-figure out shot in front of Price to break. Treble 17 for tops. And he's going to get a dart for the breaker throw here. And gets it. And not the start Louis Williams wanted. He's in the top five as well in terms of bullseye hitting in world darts. Do you know who the best bulls hitter is? James Wade. I didn't have a chance to guess. That was my guess. I wrote it down here. Oh. Can't read your writing. Two seconds. I'll just find the page. Oh, James Wade. I wrote it down. Can confirm it does say that. Just smudged it because it's like fresh ink. <laughs> uh, good response here from Louis Williams. Got to keep this a minimum of one breaker throw. Treble 13, maybe. Ah, oh, brilliant setter. Potential 10 darling, and he's giving it some back here, Louis Williams. And Playing well, Louis. 32. Yeah, a bit of swagger there, wasn't there, as he stomped away from that super setup shot. And he gives it a roar. More players get involved at sort of a professional level now, and it's good to see. Well, there must be a fair few that picked up darts because of you. Uh, sensible play from Louis Williams. I, I'd hope so, Chris, yeah, but going back, Louis Williams went for the 25 with the last time, managed to hit a ball, but the 25 left, 167, and he's threatening to break back here. Yeah, good fighting, good thinking, good throwing. Another in there, leaves double top, and a chance to hoist Price by his own yeah. potential. Absolutely brilliant, he gets the crowd going as well. Still a stage but not quite the atmosphere of a European tour and irrelevantly average now. Gavin Price has turned the screw on him here. He got a win down in the World Series events, didn't he, Price? Yeah, beat Johnny Clayton in the final one in New Zealand. Johnny had a good spell down there, I think going he required, sort of regained some form. He, let his match slip against Dave Chisnell last week. Kevin Price are risking letting this leg slip here because it's very gettable for Louis Williams, all on the same segment of the ball. Louis require 120. It'd be a real steal. He's had the 1-4-2, and that is an absolutely delicious guide. Taking his time, he knows how important it is. Wait for the roar if this goes in from Louis Williams. Pulls it low. Maybe took a little bit too much time. Going required like, 10. Maybe let out a bit of a nervous laugh then as well, Louis Williams. Price punishes. Price apologises. Don't see that very much. Gerwin Price is to lose. Six starts at 166 to wrap up a hard fought victory. 57. Well, just a little. Offering of optimism, maybe here to Louis Williams. Stayed over a ton by not finding a treble there, so we'll have to find one to get a go at a double, Gerwin Price, 60. but that doesn't really going to take much advantage. Now, Louis has hit a 1 4 2 in the match, but hitting one to save the match if he gets a chance is a massive ask, but he is going to get a chance. Louis require 148 to keep himself in this all Welsh affair. Do wonder about 56. the method here from Price. Going to require 80. Straight for it. Definitely. Straight Eight in it. Shot. And that is a victory Price. for Gerwin Price, but boy was he made to work hard for it, Louis Williams. But it would be good to see particular tournaments main, rain, retain their name and retain at least a sort of some sort of geographical identity as well. Danny, you require 84. Bullseye. 
can't locate that target. Martin will require 92. It's a chance for Schindler to get a buffer. Oh, well, it's going to have to be treble 20. That looked very close to the bullseye itself. It may have just caught a wire and fallen out. But what a rescue this would be. What a rescue that is. Martin Schindler. He's three darts in that visit. It's an interesting game, isn't it? Not as high a standard as most of the matches we've seen this evening. Any of the matches, in fact. But it's well poised. You're not quite sure what's going to happen. But the indications in the last couple of visits are that Schindler is about to put his foot down. Now find his way to the treble. Uh, maybe double double Danny is a shot there. He, he threatened the 120 in the last leg. He's threatening it now. 100. Got away with that one, Martin Schindler. But what he has Martin done by not going double double, 40. he is pretty much guaranteed he'd get three dots at double when he returns. It was just a chance he didn't return. Double 10 in the end. It is the end of the leg. Martin it's a break Schindler. of throw two. Feast time again, but only to get back in the leg. 59. Very much back in it though after that trip up from Van Trype. Can he stay? Yeah, he does stay. You can't even describe as an orthodox nowadays. He's becoming more orthodox. We saw a huge 142 check out from Lou Williams in the previous match. He went. That treble 17 route that Van Trijp 49. just tried. Martin, you require but his efforts 26. may be in vain in this match. Because yeah. Martin Schindler has yeah. seen him off with a few Martin flashes Schindler. of brilliance in a, an otherwise scrappy affair. Could reply from Johnny, but a good setup here from Jim Williams. And he could get that break back. Well, we talked about that players being stubborn. Yeah, I think Jim. No, he probably should have come down sooner here. He could be aiming at a treble 19 with a guide or one already in there. Ah, fair play to him though. Johnny require 155. I didn't think he was going to hit that because he looked really despondent. 99. Jimmy require 124. 14 segment. Double 11. This is big. And he gets it. What a shot from Jim Williams. And there's the break back. I'm not seeing a similar level of performance from Johnny here. I also think Peter Wright, he started, he took that three leg lead playing brilliantly, did go off the boil, but then went back to that. Yeah. And Johnny Clayton started playing pretty average stuff, but it was still enough for that three leg lead. We haven't seen Johnny Clayton hit anywhere near top gear in this game. Well, that doesn't do him any harm, but it may be pointless, and that dismissive wave of the hands suggests that he thinks this leg might go anyway. Jim Williams turned the screw on Johnny Clayton. This for the fourth consecutive leg, and it is, and he leads for the first time in the match. Um, He's letting Johnny back in, 100. and Johnny's first to finish, so we could be going to four apiece here. Still a bit of work to do, though, for Johnny. Jim Williams can force the issue here. Oh, what a shot. Yeah, you expect the 180 here, don't you? Yeah. Oh. 180. Four Johnny maximums in five legs from Jim Williams as he's trying to turn the screw on Johnny Clayton. The ferret, double 18. Big dart. Big, big dart Johnny from the Clayton. ferret. It's not the time to come up dry. Needs a treble. Gets 100. one big last start from Jim. Ferret's found that treble though. Look at him here again. Superb stuff. And Jim Williams had a poke at one to one. He needed to hit it in the previous leg. Didn't. One two seven. It's a similar shot. Needs to hit it. Willie on this occasion. Bullseye Bullseye. again. Agonising stuff for Jim Williams. He took out the world champion Peter right last week in Hungary. 
Not there yet, Johnny. And Jimmy more Jimmy. match starts survived for Jim Williams. Jimmy required 25. Is Luck going to be on his side again? Double eight to send us all the way. Double four. Got to go, Jim Williams. And it does, and he pulled that dart well inside. Johnny Surely required. this time, Ferret will finish the job. And the ferret does exactly that. Jim Williams unable to take out a seeded player. That's incredible, that, isn't it? Just because the, the qualifiers, I mean, when, when I played, there was just the players from the UK in a qualifier. It's all mixed now because you've got the Dutch, the German players. This was even harder now. But Lukman has made it look... 100. Well, pretty Robbie easy at times. He won't be in Belgium, though. And he won't be in Gibraltar. Well, you consider there are players that have never, never played on the Euro Tour. 57. It's, it's just really difficult. There's a lot of... Sometimes you can have to, have to play three matches just to qualify. Uh, Lutman will bow out of the European 62. Tour. I believe the highest Robbie ranked Maguire player never to have played is still Scott Mitchell. He's got Mitchell. And he may be another casualty going back to Q school. So will Lutman be a casualty, of course, here? Oh, oh. Because that is the break of throw. Oh. Fifty-eight. I'm just wondering. Martin Lutman looking for some tired darts here. And he, he said he's been here since three o'clock. Eight hours. One hundred and seventy. Martin, you require one hundred. Wake up and produce something to alarm Rob Cross. Nineteens or fifteens. Ninety-four. Rob, you require thirty-two. This is for a real cushion. It's a four-one lead, but with a double break. And the setup play was brilliant from Rob. Baffled that he's missed a double. Hit his first three. Games from the pit lane. But gets there in oh, the end oh. and the misses don't matter. In what has been a breakthrough year for him. 91. Yeah, some big games tomorrow, isn't there, for players that did get through? The likes of Luke Woodhouse and Ross Smith, who beat exceeded opposition today, right at the bottom of that ranking in the provisional spots. Christoph Ratajski as well, who plays the winner of this just outside. That's in for Rob Cross. It, it's a bigger day for Woodhouse and Ratajski than Smith. Smith's got a couple more. Martin I think he's he's in one of them anyway. Woodhouse and Ratajski are done after tomorrow in the European Tour, so it's. Basically, get Aussie it done tomorrow won. or they won't be the European Championship Robbie finals. But Cross has three match stars to wrap up day two here. And that's a little bit of a side story for tomorrow when we'll bring you the action. And yes. it's today's action that will include the two-time European champion and former world champion Rob Cross.